Okay, I'm going to do a little video here of my 1964 Ford Econoline van. Uh, I just got done fixing up the inside. So we'll go around the outside here first. Uh, it's got the original paint, mostly. Um, you can see it used to be a flooring company owned it. So it was a flooring van. So... The doors were, the front doors were both primered and somebody tried to paint over that. But I took a uh, goof off and rubbed it all off. Yes, it took me days. Anyway, it's obviously new wheels. Um, this side and the bottom was kind of rusted there near the wheel. So that's, that's a new panel that's been repainted. And... I did the skull, not very well, but it looks all right. Um, this corner had been replaced by somebody years ago and it was kind of rusty, so I had that refinished and uh, cleared and stuff. You can see back here, the, there's some letters left on the one side there, but not on this side. Um, I got the antique plate. Got an original, like an old one. I can actually legally use that. Um, this side is all original except for the skull, of course. But yeah, I didn't want to make it look too nice, but I didn't want it to be rusty. So that's that's basically where we're at. Um, okay. So. That's the outside. Now on the inside. What we're going for here is kind of a tiki kind of thing. Um, there's tiki there. But I like this, the license plates all over the place. So I covered the floor in license plates. And I also did the ceiling and license plates. Um, my wife had a whole bunch of a big pack of bamboo, five foot bamboo uh, for the garden and I kind of stole it and put it around up there and up here on the little shelf there where I put the CD player ran that across and we got some got some mermaids here and on the engine cover some more pieces of bamboo there's little grooves there so they fit right in and just siliconed them in there there's my uh, subwoofer, which, man, that makes a big difference. That was pretty cool. Um, there's the uh, hula girl. Anyway, but then the inside. We got a porthole and a little squid hook here on each of the doors. Inside, got the squid carpet. Gotta have the squid carpet. That's awesome. Uh, that's a black light there. There's a diver helmet. That has a light in it too. I don't have it on. But... And uh, like I said, I stole all of my wife's bamboo, but I also went online and big bamboo things here in front of the bed and in back of the engine cover there and then the other bamboo I stole from my wife is up here I made these little grids or whatever you want to call them to hang stuff from and that's 
fake palms up there, which is pretty cool. Um, do have a TV, a DVD player, and uh, I got some tropical fish on there. And there's another TV back here. Have that wired to the other TV, and then I can also I also have a an Atari. 7800 I can hook up to the back one. Um, got a barrel here, ashtray, tiki lighter there. Got a couple of little shag paintings there. Thought I better get some of those. Got a skull. I mean, that makes sense, right? And then there's also a propeller up here. I got that at a flea market somewhere for a dollar or something. I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway, we have some shrunken heads. There's one there, there's one over there. And then this fishing net I used kind of as a, instead of a curtain or something there in front of the bed. Which turned out pretty good, I think. In the back, got another one of those grids up there and some of those little glass buoy balls. Um, and of course you have to have a puffer fish. I don't know if you can see, he has a color changing LED in him. He's changing colors. It's hard to see during the day, but it is changing. Tiki masks, there's one in the back there, and there's one on the other side, and uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, this is my, this is my Ford, 1964 Ford van that has a Tiki problem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, like some videos, you know, stuff like that. Appreciate it. See you.